Row 18, plot 20. Hello, everyone. So this is The Collection, a uh, review on The Collection, the sequel to The Collector, um, written by Patrick Melton, and um, starring my favorite guy, um, again, Josh Stewart. So handsome, so handsome. If anybody knows him, I'm a big fan. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is a, various, uh, a very good sequel. Um, I'm not sure if Hobbs has seen this um, because he is a fan of, like myself, of A Great Kill, um, but very um, detailed again as far as our booby traps. So in our sequel, um, our story is a character, not from the first, um, and her name is Elena. And she's um, a college student who sneaks out of her home um, with a friend just to go to a party um, and she was actually studying. And she's the daughter of a very wealthy, wealthy man um, who loves his daughter very much um, and who has vowed to her that he will never leave her and always protect her. Um, and as you'll see in the movie when you do watch it, um, as I'm sure you will, um, you'll be on the edge of your seat the entire time. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still tossed up with myself. And not sure which one I like better um, or if they can be compared because they're both equally at that level of um, edge of your seatness. I don't know. I'm not good with those kind of words, but um, she gets captured by our villain of the movie and her father. Um, as I said in the beginning, he vows to protect her and never leave her. Um, and he has, I guess, what you would call a right-hand man. Um, and our character, um, he escapes in, in the first one. If, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but he does um, escape and manage to get help. Um, and he's in the hospital. When he wakes up, he is brought um, to him, you know, a band of, I don't know what you would call them, mercenaries. Um, but they have to rescue this young lady. And they tell him, you know, they need his help. And from there on, he's led back into that maze of horror that he has to go through um, to find this young lady and to bring her back to safety uh, to her dad. So I would say I don't want to spoil it for anyone, the ending, um, but it's a must-see. I said, uh, like I always say before, all the thumbs, um, great movie. And if you haven't seen the first one, I suggest you watch The Collector before you watch The Collection, um, because then you'll see how it's all put together and how it all, how it all goes together. Um, and I'm certain that there may be even another one. It's going to be like, I don't know is it, am I, if I'm saying the right word, trilogy. I think this will end up being one um, just like the Saw franchise. I really do. Great movie. Um, and I heard doing my research that it did very good in the box office. Um, I wasn't aware of it at the time when it was in the, in, the, in the theater. So glad I came across it. I've watched it many, 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 many times. And I've enjoyed it each time um, because I see things that I may have missed each time. Um, but this criminal is a very sick guy, very sick guy. And he is the first, I don't know. I'm not sure if anyone else, but he's the, he's the, the only outside of Jason. He's the quietest killer that I've ever met on TV. He's, he's, he, he really is. It's a good movie. Um, but Arkin, you're going to love him in this one just as just as much as you did the first one, um, because I would say it's an even more intricate set of um, mazes and traps and things that he has to go through to save this girl. Like he really puts in his all. Um, 
almost sacrificing his own life to save her. Um, so it does have some, some uh, how can I say, happiness to the horror. They did bring some sort of um, reunion. And I'm not, I can't, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not sure if I am or have already, but I do think um, once you see this, you'll feel like me and you'll not just feel like there's going to be a sequel. You're going to want one because I do. I'm waiting. And I hope someone out there in the, the film and direction movie that had something to do with this will make us another one, a third one, so that we can see it. And maybe possibly do a review on that one, too. <laughs> Who knows? So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be, just think of me.